you have probably received an email with a link to participate in an online event through a platform called StreamYard and you are lost. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to do when you're there. Well, don't worry. I am going to explain to you in a very short time what is the basic operation of this tool, when you are the guest, and what you have to do, what each icon, each button is for pay attention, don't go away, we are starting. Good, or as I said, you don't have to be afraid. The most important thing is that you focus on the presentation, or the interview that you have been proposed. You don't have to worry much about technology because StreamYard is a very simple tool to use, but especially when you are the guest, because you will not have to do practically anything. Just a few settings, a settings when you walk in before the event. Then simply let yourself go. I will share the screen, as always. I am in a hidden browser and well, this is the link that I have received to enter the online event. I just type it in the browser and the first thing I'm going to see is a warning on the screen. It tells me that I do not have the camera activated in. Actually the microphone neither, in this case it asks me for access to allow the browser to use these two devices, okay? To keep a little privacy. All you have to do is click on this blue button that says, activate, or, allow access to the microphone and the camera, we click and this other floating window appears, which will be where we have to give access. We have to click inside, on, allow, and that is when the microphone and the camera will be activated. We click, as I was saying, and well I appear here in a spare camera that I have. Look at how I already see myself in the image and how this green bar that you see here is moving. This means that it is actually working, okay? What is he telling you here? When this bar is moving it means that the microphone is working correctly. Well, below we have three buttons. The first which would be silence. This would serve. El primero que sería el mute, este serviría to mute the microphone. If we click on it, what we get is that our sound does not reach the transmission where we are going to participate. The other one that we have next to it that says, stop cam, because what it does is turn off the camera. In this case, we would change our webcam image for a static image or an icon, whatever we have configured. Estática o un icono, lo que hayamos configurado. And then from this other option that puts camera and microphone, what we can do is modify the camera or microphone that we have by default. You have seen that when I entered, when I activated, I was simply recognized by a camera and a microphone. But in my case I can have more cameras or more microphones and what I would have to do, if I want to change it, it is just a click in this icon, as we will see next. And finally, on this screen, I have another option down here that says, display name. What do you have to fill in there? Well, the name you want to appear in the credits, on the little poster that will appear just below your image during the broadcast, okay? In this case I am going to put here for example one more guest. Look at how this banner appears here, this poster with the text that I just entered here below, okay? What I have put down here appears up here on the little poster, it's that simple, okay? If you want to make more configurations, as I was saying, you give this button that says, camera and microphone, and here you will be able to modify it if you click on camera obviously you will be able to modify camera and, if you have several, simply select one or the other. Very attentive because this option is also very important, this one that you are seeing right here that says, show advanced. What is this for? This will allow you to modify the resolution of the camera, since by default the resolution will appear at 480 and instead of 480, which is the standard, you put 720. And well, in this case it is assumed that the quality of the picture will improve. If your host has a pro license of this program, of this tool, apart from this 720, it will allow you to broadcast in 1080, as long as they are YouTube or LinkedIn. Facebook so far the maximum that allows to broadcast 720. LinkedIn too, okay? Well, this is what you could modify from this option that says, camera. Below we can do exactly the same. You have the option that says, audio, and here what you can do is change. The default microphone or speakers. My recommendation is that, if you can, use headphones, okay? Do not use speakers because then the sound of your host will be coupled with you and well, 
there will be a little echo and it will be total chaos. Note that you also have the option to use this graphic here, okay? To see if your mic is working fine when you make the switch. When you choose another microphone here, then here you will be able to see, at these points, if it works, it does not work. It means, if the dots are marked green, your microphone is working well. If they are not marked in green, it means that the microphone is not well connected or there is something that is not completely correct. As for this other option that says, echo cancellation, here, what does this mean? Well, this is what it will allow you to apply a small filter to your microphone so that the echo is not heard so pronounced. Para que eh, el eco no se escuche tan pronunciado, ¿vale? It subtracts a bit of quality from the audio, but if you are in a place, a very large room that has empty walls and you have no furniture and so on, you will hear an echo. Then it is convenient to mark this option and your audio will be a little better. In the event that the room you are in does not have any kind of echo problem, then you can instead choose the other option below that will allow you to broadcast your sound in stereo. This is used a lot, for example, when you want to play live, when you want to sing, right? And in addition, you also have another option here, which is to automatically adjust the volume of your microphone. This can be checked or unchecked. By default, as you can see, it appears marked but if you remove it, from here you will be able to give more or less volume to your microphone so that it is heard on the connection, okay? And we would have one last option within the settings. And it is neither more nor less than that of the chroma background, the green background. Many times we have heard of it and we do not know exactly what it means, right? Well, in this case, note that you have the option here and the only thing you would do is mark it. This is what it will allow you to simply use a green teak behind you. Instead of having a wall or having a room, you can select a background. In my case, since I don't have a chroma, it doesn't work. But if I had it, then what I would do would be to replace the green or blue color on the back. For these virtual funds that I could choose here. Voucher? Here you can choose if you want green or blue. In my case, as I am not using any of them, it does not recognize it. But if it were the case, simply select the image here and hear the color of your fabric or your chroma screen so that directly the... Y aquí el color de tu tela o tu pantalla de chroma para que directamente... Program cut out that color and replace it with one of these. And once you have everything configured, all you have to do is click on this blue button that says, Enter Broadcast Studio. Once you enter here, what exactly do you find? This image that you are going to see below is neither more nor less than your camera, okay? You are there in the backstage. You see that you have your name here and you have your image. It's a bit blurred because you haven't gone live yet. However, this screen that appears here in the center is what is currently in the broadcast. You will be able to go live even if your host has not yet launched the show on air. In other words, you will be able to be on the screen simply backstage, let's say, backstage. You're not going to go live. In this case, the one on the screen is your hobby. I am myself from another browser. Well, you won't be able to do practically anything else from here. Simply down here you will continue to see the same buttons that I explained to you before. The mute to turn off the microphone, the stop cam to stop your camera, the camera and microphone, to configure the camera or microphone, as we have seen before. And here you have two more options, as I said before. Note that in this case you have one that says, share. What does this mean? Well, this will allow you to share your screen or share a video that you have on your hard drive. That you share. Compartir tu pantalla o compartir un video que tú tengas dentro de tu disco duro. Eso que tú compartes va... You will go to the production studio. And it will be the host who, at a certain moment, will launch it live. You have to worry about nothing. Only to share your screen. If you have a presentation, a few slides, a video explaining something, anything. You share it from there, it will also be on the backstage, and it will be the host who then launches it live. And here you go another that says, leave studio. This is what it means is that I'm going to the show, I'm going out. Okay? And then here we have two more options, on the right side, which are the ones I'm going to mark at this time. The first one that says, private chat. This will allow you to have a conversation, through a chat, directly with the host. 
Here you will not be able to talk with other users, with other guests. Only with the host then we have another tab where it says comments. Invitados, simplemente con el eh, anfitrión. Y luego tenemos otra pestaña donde pone comments o comentarios. Here what you will be able to see are the comments that viewers make on the social networks in which you are broadcasting, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitch, on LinkedIn, wherever. Those comments you will be able to see, but you will not be able to do anything with them, okay? Only if I'm here where you put comments, I see that there is already an example comment here, but I can't do anything. Once again, the host will be the one to launch those comments live, omit them, comment on them, or do whatever they want with them. But you can't really do anything. And that's it. You do not have to do anything else. These are the controls, the controls of this platform when you are the guest. So you don't have to worry about anything other than being handsome or pretty in the camera, that your microphone works correctly and, if you are going to share a screen, then that you have the shared source beforehand. To do this, as I explained before, all you have to do is share it through this button that says, share. A través de este botón que pone share. And here the only thing you would have to do is select the option you need according to the content you are going to share. And nothing else, as I was saying, was tremendously simple. Once you are clear about what the buttons are for, all you have to do is focus on your presentation in your interview and enjoy the show live with your host. I hope you found it interesting. I leave you here by my side more videos that will surely also interest you, and see you inside Juan Ma Aranda's channel here on YouTube. See you soon. Hasta muy pronto.